COVID is a war. It's enemy, the coronavirus. Made to conquer the world, weaken, attack and divide us. Hundreds of thousands lost, fighting in hospital trenches. Army of medical staff redeployed on sub benches. Air raid shelters made in the safety of our own home. Lockdown with family! Lockdown on your own. Goalposts changing with orders from the government of our time. As coronavirus advances, we infiltrate the enemy lines. This invisible foe is airborne, a master of disguise. Hidden in known and unknown carriers, adversary of spies. Making defence impossible, our leaders simply ask. Hands, face, space. And please wear a mask. Many join the front line and lead the safety of their homes. As friends and family fall, they reinforce the battle zone. Keep calm and carry on as generations before. It's just that we are now fighting a very different war. As it does its best to destroy and claim victory, it unites and reignites World War camaraderie. Lights out in darkened offices in major cities where mega businesses led. We stayed strong and carried on with laptops in our sheds. We never know how tough life gets until it puts us to the test. Turn inside out, yet beyond all doubt, in bad times for many people, it brought out their best. Neighbours we've lived alongside for many years on end. While we now suddenly realise that these neighbours are our friends. We still make things happen by rewiring our brains. It was actually quite a bliss when we realised this meant we didn't have to board overcrowded trains. Aeroplanes have practically stopped, but oh, how clear the air. I've never noticed that before because planes were always there. Indoor gyms closed with treadmills, cardio, weights and bikes. Now we walked in parks and observed creation as through nature we took our hikes. Although I'm having withdrawal symptoms, even panic attacks, because I ain't kidding you, I can't wait to get my rugby days back. But I'll tell you straight, and I'll be quite frank, I ain't never had so much money in me bank. Well, I like to go primarily for all these skimpy tops. And while she's there, I like to stop and stare at the bling in the jewellery shops. I go to the nail salon, well, because I can, and because orange is the new brown, I always top up my spray tan. I grab a bite in Nando's, or sometimes I go posh, dine al fresco. Now, if I'm lucky, I shop once a week at Tesco. Shop workers carried on despite some idiots and the intense mood. Safety measures put in place so you can wash clean and stock up on your food. Ordinary NHS become real life superheroes. They played the part with such big hearts even though inside fear rose. Scientists have worked so hard to find a vaccination. To render death, to cut off Covid's head in its assassination. Teachers diversed from friendly childhood hubs of their classroom. As well as opening up for key workers, we taught using the power of Zoom. Teachers handed over and parents did their best, but for some of them, well, it really was a test. Hold on a minute, you're having a bubble. May I teach you maths, you're just asking for trouble. I mean, I'm their mother, I teach them right from wrong, not fractions, divisions, short or long. You get me, I hope. It just ain't my thing though. I mean, I thought a polygon was a parrot flown out the window. English, God help us, with the there, there, there. Teaching a child who just doesn't care. His mind is just simply not on it, whether Shakespeare wrote a beautiful sonnet, and as for your Midsummer's Night Dream, quite frankly, dear teachers, I could scream. And how you've been chosen to do this as a career? Well, I've come to the conclusion that you're all nuts, my dear. And as for sharing laptops and teaching on Zoom, can't wait till these kids of yours are back in the classroom. Our eyes are opened as we've never known before. We must live a different life to protect those we adore. 
All of a sudden, the mobile phone has taken second place. How we long for interaction, up close, face to face. The magic of a friendly hug as tension melts away. The importance of saying, I love you. I love you. To them so close. Yet, yet far, far away. away. We must sing once more and drink champagne. To never take for granted any more our life in Covid's reign. The greatest gift is that of your precious time. If we haven't learned that, well, that really is a crime. Scientist discoveries and our brilliant NHS have given us a new hope to pull out of this Covid mess. Whatever your situation in this COVID war, it has made us all value our lives more now than ever before. As a new dawn approaches, we tentatively make strides to meet each other in the fresh air outside. And as our restrictions lift and brighten our days like the sun, we feel there is hope and a normal life on the horizon.